Hi everyone, I'm David, I'm on the Workflows product team, and this is a tutorial that builds out some basic lifecycle event reporting with Google Sheets. So one of the places that Workflows can be super helpful within LCM is creating custom reports based on events that happen in Okta. So whether you need to audit a set of users that something has happened to, or notify someone to take action and attach a relevant CSV, or just put information somewhere that non-Okta admins can reference it, you can basically take any information in system log and turn it into rows and columns in a spreadsheet or a table. So this flow is going to use Google Sheets and Gmail and the suspended user event, but you can really use it with um, any event that you can think of as well as different spreadsheets like Office 365 or the native workflows table functionality. So this flow starts with a user suspended event, which means each time a user in Okta is suspended, it's going to create a row in Google Sheets. And then after that, we're gonna tell the administrator that this event's happened. So we're going to compose a little email, we'll compose a subject line, we will grab some data from the spreadsheet that we just created, we'll write up a nice email body, and then we'll send it with Gmail. So let's walk through how this works. So each time that a user is suspended, it's going to fire this event in the Okta connector. And we're going to take some data from this initial card and we're going to populate the row of the spreadsheet. So actually, before we do this, we need to set up our spreadsheet. So if you don't already have a Google Sheets connection, you'll need to create that connection. So you need to authorize Google Sheets and go through that flow. And then you'll also want to set the options for this connection. So you'll click Options, and you'll see a list of all the spreadsheets in your account. And you can pick one of those here. I've previously created a spreadsheet with suspended users where I set the column headings that I want in that spreadsheet. So I made a new spreadsheet here, and I've got the display name, the alternate ID, and the time. And this is important, these column names actually need to match the fields that we'll be bringing over from the Okta card. So in Okta, I want to create these rows with the display name of the user. I want to create them with the alternate ID, which is the username or the email. Then I also want to bring in the date and time, so the timestamp from that user suspended event. And so I'll make sure that all of those are present in my spreadsheet here. So after that, this is going to create a row each time this uh, event fires. And next, we're going to put together an email notification to the administrator about what just happened. So we're going to start with just composing an email subject line. We're actually going to, when we send this email, jumping ahead a little bit, we need some text for the subject. Then we need some text for the body. So we'll start with the subject. That's pretty easy. We'll just say display name has been suspended. So we'll bring the display name over from the Okta user again. And that'll be our subject. And then the output of that is going to go all the way to the subject of the email there. If you click on any of these inputs, it'll pin the line so you can more easily see how the output of one card goes to the input of another. So next, we're going to build our email body. And for this, we'll get a little fancier. We'll actually take in some data from the spreadsheet that we just created. So here, we're going to go with read worksheet info. And here, we're going to set the options here. And we need to reselect that spreadsheet that we previously wrote to, if it's not already selected. And we'll save that. And that'll give us a few different outputs. It'll give us a spreadsheet ID a worksheet ID, a worksheet URL, and a sheet type. And worksheet URL is what we care about. And so this card here basically creates a quick notification that display name, again, bringing it over from the Okta card. So this person with this email, that's their alternate ID, has been suspended by, here we're actually going to grab the admin's display name. So this is the name of the administrator that suspended that user. So we can see who took that action in case um, we need to audit it for some reason. 
And then we'll also include a reference to the actual URL, which we'll grab from that read worksheet info. So this email body is composed of a couple of the fields from the user suspended event, as well as the URL of that spreadsheet that we just created. So all of that creates another output. This is a text field, which we then put in the body of the email. We do need to specify a uh, recipient. Here I use jane at example.com. Um, I'll replace it with my email. And then we are uh, ready to go. So we will test this flow. We need to save it first. And I usually check save all data that passes through the flow. You'll typically want to check this. So I could actually test this by pasting in data, but actually the quickest way for me to get a sample event will be just triggering it in my Okta instance. So I'm going to go back to my Okta instance. And I'll find myself a user. Um, I'd probably create a test user for this, because you will be uh, suspending them. And I'm going to suspend this user. If I go to system log, I can see that they've been suspended. And we can see that they've been suspended here. And if we go over to our flow, and look at flow history, here in flow history, I can see that this event fired. So here's the date and time. I can see that it populated the person's name and their email and the timestamp into the create row. I can see that we created the subject of the email using the display name, that we read the uh, output from the spreadsheet into the uh, compose email card, and then that we sent this email. And just to make sure that things actually happen the way that we expected, if I go into my spreadsheet, I've got the user suspensions here. And then if I check my email, we've also got that email that uh, notifies us that the user was suspended and then also gives us the link to the attached spreadsheet. I can click back there and see the same results. So that's a simple reporting workflow um, in a nutshell. Like I said, you can easily expand this to use other notification channels, um, Office 365 email, Slack will have a Teams connector coming soon, as well as different spreadsheets, or actually the uh, workflow's native table functionality. Hope this was helpful, um, and can't wait to see what you build with workflows.